Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Gears of War 5 running on the 1135G7. Now this is at 1080p with the lowest possible settings I could get going on here and with the dynamic resolution setting. Now here you could see what the results were of a benchmark that ran and of course what some of the graphics settings were like. Overall, you can see the frame rate average is not great. I mean, an average of 40 is not <laughs> looking too good there. And the minimums are a little low, but in the actual game here playing a little bit of horde mode, you'll see that the performance is relatively consistent. It feels like I'm playing on an Xbox 360. In fact, it's better than the Xbox 360 in a lot of ways. The Xbox 360 just struggled through these types of games significantly so you do get a console like experience overall from this but i would not say it's a bad experience i would recommend though that if you really care about frame rate just drop the resolution down to 720p this is already doing dynamic resolution scaling so you're not actually seeing this in 1080p a lot of the time it is far below that but if you're willing to go even lower you can set the base resolution to 720p and let this thing just turn into a blur fest if you just want that frame rate overall though i would say that this is pretty playable and i would be more than happy to play like this if this was literally the only way i could play the game i do really enjoy playing horde mode on this game so it's one of those things where if i was out on a trip or something and i just really wanted to play this game with some friends i could just hop on here and have an okay enough experience although in the later rounds when it starts to get really hectic the frame rate will start to suffer but you don't get thrown so many enemies on screen that it just becomes a slideshow fest so overall i'd say that this is a pretty big win Locking up. That won't be the last of them. Let's get ready. Time's up. Energy pack nearby. Let's secure it. 